All right, next we have Ken with Credit Karma. Let's welcome him now. Hi, I'm Ken. I'm the uh, founder and CEO of Credit Karma. Uh, so to give you a little bit of a background, uh, we've had uh, actually a little bit of a mission that's fundamentally different than what I think a lot of consumers think about when they first look at Credit Karma. Our goal is to help all consumers find better financial services products. Uh, there are three core components of our business. The first one's really access. So everyone knows that we give free credit scores. We've been doing that for the last seven years. We also focus a lot on education. We think through education, consumers can be better educated about how loans work, how credit scores work, how to improve their overall situation. That's one of our key missions. And the last piece is really about technology. So we think if we incorporate all of these three things together, we can actually build a better way for consumers to find financial services products, right? So, uh, you know, we can educate consumers on what their credit scores are. We can educate consumers on what lenders are looking for, what their underwriting criteria are. And then we bring in technology so that, you know, when it's actually time to transact, we can take an application in two clicks because Credit Karma already knows a consumer's credit score. We already know the lending requirements of our partners. And we've already integrated with their back-end underwriting or APIs such that we can actually post an application directly to their back end, right? So for our vision of what the marketplace turns into in a few years' time is a consumer comes onto Credit Karma, we understand their behavior in terms of how they consume their financial services products. We understand and ping what the requirements are of the, you know, several dozen or possibly hundred of the lenders on our platform, and we're able to integrate so that consumers can transact easily in that scenario. Just to give you a little bit of a background on uh, the business itself, uh, you know, we focused a little, took you a little bit about the overview. Uh, our business model is 100% predicated on advertising. So we provide free credit scores. We provide all the access, the education, completely free. We never charge any of our consumers. Our business model, we make all of our revenues from uh, effectively application fees or advertising. There's a lot of talk about the various originations that happened in the P2P space. To give you a little context, we, we really haven't actually measured that. Uh, but we actually generated about 6 million credit apps last year. We'll do about 10 million credit apps this year, right? So that's on a found 10 million. Uh, that's on a foundation of uh, 24 million members today. We're adding about a million and a half new members uh, each month. So we think we'll be close to uh, 35 million members by the end of this year. Uh, we're 130 employees. We're, you know, traditional venture backed, not necessarily affiliated with any bank or any particular financial services institution. Uh, and, you know, we've been doing this for about, uh, you know, seven years. So I'm going to skip the product demo. I'm just going to go through two kind of compelling pieces on our platform. I think the first piece is that when I talked a little bit about education, we think it actually makes kind of all consumers better. So this is a little bit of an eye chart, but what it actually presents is we did an analysis on our member base based on their front end credit score. Uh, and then what we did was we actually tracked those credit scores over time and behavior on Credit Karma. And what we find is that on the average, a consumer's credit score when they use Credit Karma goes up about seven points. But if you really focus on kind of the subprime and the near prime aspect of the business, you'll actually see that you know, in month, we'll look at the top line. For someone who came in with a credit score of 500, uh, after 12 months of usage on Credit Karma, their credit score jumped up 24 points on average, uh, 38 points after two years, and after three years, you know, effectively the same at 38 points, so, or 37 points. So what we see a lot of is the education really correlates to the positive selection aspect of our borrowers, and over time we think this is actually a really big advantage in the space, so we're very positive on the education, we think it's important. Uh, just jumping on to the next slide, you know, we can actually further break that out. So this is actually just uh, another segment. This is 550s and 559s. So what a lot of our lenders do and, and have seen in our, in our portfolio of, 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 uh, you know, of, of borrowers is that we actually have a lot of positive selection in the group, right? And it makes sense, right? People who are interested in their credit score are going to be a little bit better than people who aren't interested in their credit score on average. So we took the analysis a little bit further. And what we actually try to do is we try to model what credit scores would look like 12 months after registration. And the data points that we used to model that was we actually looked at the behavior of those users on Credit Karma within the first 30 days. So the goal is, can we determine positive selection in a user base based on how they interact with our site a year forward, right? And the way you read this chart is, you know, in month zero, everyone's starting from the same foundation. But what we then did was, on the average, these users went up 28 points in one year's time if we did no modeling. 
But if we actually did some modeling to try to identify the really good consumers based on their behavior, our very top decile, those consumers uh, were actually, on the average, 70 points higher a year later, right? So based on those first 30 days of behavior on Credit Karma, we're able to see who the really good consumers are and, you know, kind of rank order all users based on, you know, how often they log in, did they use our credit simulator, how often did they go to the credit report card. Uh, so we had a lot of kind of interesting dynamics and, and are able to predict uh, how consumers are really going to perform a year out. And I think this is really important for a lot of the lending platforms, right? I mean, the idea here is credit scores are great. We talk, we've heard a lot about uh, social interactions. But from our perspective, we have full file, but we also have behavioral data that can really segment out you know, on both a credit level, but also kind of a consumer mentality level around positive selection to get uh, you know, better consumers on the platform. Last slide. Um, and this is the last piece is, you know, I think as we've developed a brand, as we've originated loans, as we've you know, built a platform, uh, we've also you know, been able to demonstrate uh, you know, a business model, I think, that is more sustainable than what the status quo historically been. So this is kind of the net promoter score of our industry. Uh, this was actually performed by uh, Google Capital prior to their investment. They, they, you know, they effectively ran it just to make sure that we're a legitimate business. And you know, I think the results are kind of surprising to even us, right? I mean, at the end of the day, you know, we have the highest uh, you know, net promoter score in the space. Uh, you know, we're ahead of ACR, which uh, annualcreditreport.com, which is the government site. And you know, we're also you know, well ahead of uh, my FICO and the bureaus. And then if you look at the breakage models, which have been traditionally the players in the space, we're clearly you know, heads, and, heads and shoulders above kind of that model. So uh, you know, that's a little bit about credit karma. And I guess in context to this particular conference, you know, we're originating a lot of loans. And we'd love to talk to people who are interested in uh, you know, creating credit apps and, and looking for borrowers. Thank you.